For 30 years, Tim Bonney was an obstetrician gynecologist, or OBGYN, most recently here in Gunnison, Colorado. It's an up-close and personal job. Hands-on, examining and talking and breathing and being in small little exam rooms. Which explains why Bonnie, who has several health risk factors, suddenly called it a career when the pandemic hit earlier this year. I was really forced to quit rather than be another statistic of healthcare workers who work closely with patients and die. He's among some 2.9 million workers, one think tank says, have taken retirement in the U.S. since March. That's well above average. Joan Malone, like many fearful of contracting COVID-19, is another. I am an older teacher. While the pandemic was going on, I knew I couldn't go back in person with the children. I couldn't take any risks. When Stacy Little learned she'd have to be in the classroom. And I just panicked. I said, I cannot go in the building. I can barely go into a grocery store without getting nervous around people. So how could I teach that many children and feel safe? During the Great Recession in the U.S., older workers were often more secure in their jobs due to seniority. Younger ones were often first in and first out of the workforce. And this one is completely the reverse. Uh, we're seeing a much higher percentage of older workers leaving the workforce. These early departures that include more than 2,000 Delta airline pilots taking early retirement and thousands of United Airlines employees expected to do the same can be cushioned if people have adequate savings, but... 43% of individuals of, of people in their 50s uh, don't have enough money for a month. More than 60% of people in their 50s can't last three months. Experts say increased poverty among older workers is a concern, along with the added strain early retirements will place on benefits programs and long-term economic growth. Then there's the loss of all that knowledge and skill. It's a huge societal impact. If we are wise, we are the wise ones. We're the experienced ones. We're the ones that pass off the torch to someone else. Little is more than ready to do that. I'm really happy to get the stress out of my life. Malone is training to be a contact tracer for COVID-19. It's something that I can do to still be of service in my community and keep me really busy. And keep safe at a time when the coronavirus is scrambling so many careers and career plans.